that inflammation is going away. I'm in my skinny jeans. I had them in the box in the bottom of the closet for a long time and just effortlessly, you know. That's what I'm seeing in these reports. I'm seeing her polarity increase. So yeah, she's oxygenating oh. well. <laughs> Hey, Rebecca and Darlene, thanks so much for coming to spend time with me today. Thank you. Thank you for your time doing this. I'm really excited to hear your story. So Rebecca, talk to me a little bit about how you were feeling prior to having come and live with Darlene and using the HHS. It's made a very big difference on my ability to be happy. And um, I'm not depressed. I mean, sometimes I'll just lie in bed and go, oh, my gosh, it's going to be okay. <laughs> you know? Uh -huh. And if I do get a little bit down, it's not as much. And it doesn't last as long. It makes a very big difference. So for the listeners that don't know your story, why don't you let them know about why you were feeling depressed initially? Uh, on stage four, that'll scare anybody. Yeah. And that was just recently. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, um, that and then is... you came to stay with Darlene when she received the HHS, right? How long yes. ago was that? Yes. Uh, we're almost, we're on the third week now. Yeah. And how are you feeling, Rebecca? Better, better. We have... We started at 50 and we haven't gone back <laughs> and we haven't had any Herxheimer's or any. The only thing I can say is I've noticed I get thirsty more. Yeah. And at first it's gone now, but at first I was itchy. My skin was a little dry or something. I don't know, but that's nothing. That's nothing. We've had no adverse effects, no Hertzheimer's, nada. Right just on. Good, just good stuff. And I'm wearing my two white devices. Oh, the, the whole time. time, huh? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> I it's hardcore. <laughs> That's cool. That's good to know. So then it's okay to do that, especially because, you know, you're in a different condition than other people might be, but if you can manage having both the white devices and the HHS, that's cool to know. And then yeah. Darlene did some reports on you, right? Do you, I'm going to go ahead and let you share the screen, Darlene. Yeah. Okay. And I'll explain them. That's Josie. Oh, and I'm in my skinny jeans. Yeah, she oh. is. Anyway. That inflammation is going away. I'm in my skinny jeans. I mean, right I had. On. I had them in the box in the bottom of the closet for a long time and just effortlessly, you know? Wow. Did you drop a whole size? Yeah. Yeah. Two belt notches over. Oh, yeah. no, no. Whole different size belt. And then I'm a notch five. Oh, my goodness. So how much weight do you think you've lost and how in how long? I don't think it was so much weight loss as it was fluffy, fluffiness. Body fat, inflammation. <laughs> That's the word I like, fluffy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah use not fat, use fluffy. <laughs> We're going to be measuring term? Her, her body fat. I have a scale and we did that at the beginning, but we didn't do we that today. We haven't done it. We, we can do it again. That was something I forgot to do. <laughs> but we'll we'll keep up with that as well. And I notice I've lost five pounds. Of course, I was fighting a cold and I was detoxing. So, yeah, it's a good thing. I mean, nobody else is receiving it. And there's two other members of the family here that are doing well. So, so there's I have no a question for you, Darlene, with what you just said. So do you feel that a cold is simply a detox? I mean, I'm thinking like terrain versus germ theory here. Well, it's not the germ. <laughs> it's the terrain, right? Right. 
So, yes, it probably was there to begin with. And it just, you know, it sped, well, it probably increased it to happen more. And it's just like I was thinking, too, you know, what do you do? Like, do you put it on 50 or do you put it on slow? It's like when you cook, you know, if you're going to boil some potatoes, right? If you want the potatoes to cook slower, you put them on a lower flame. So if you want to heal quicker, I say go for it. So that's what we did. And, you know, here it is seven days later and I'm completely I don't I'm not coughing or anything. I'm back to normal which is unusual for a respiratory. Okay. Well, I'm just going to make an announcement to CYA for all the members listening. Please follow the titrating instructions when you get your device. Starting low, checking in every three days, and going up five. Okay, that's our recommendation from Quantum Healing Systems. Right. So yeah. Darlene is a medical practitioner, so she can do what she wants. But our recommendation is, you know, because we want you to be safe. So right. I just need to put limits. a disclaimer. <laughs> yeah, and testing the limits is, you know, going to prove, you know, whether it's safe or not. So that's why, you know, I went ahead and did that. And with Rebecca, you know, she's used to frequencies and we've been doing frequency work on her for years. So yeah. she's used to it. And Rebecca, what other treatments have you been using to help yourself? Oh, I get IVs. Like you what? Know, IVs? Some like some she's semen. getting Myers cocktails, a uh, treatment called Ebu, which what they do is they take your blood out in your plasma and they oxygenate your blood and then they put the blood back in. So, you know, cancer is, you know, it's because, you know, cancer cells can't grow in an oxygenated world. Right. So if you can oxygenate the blood, then yes, you're going to have more power. You're going to have more weapons against those cancer cells to devitalize. And that's what I'm seeing in these reports. I'm seeing her polarity increase. So, yeah, she's oxygenating oh, well. <laughs> for, oh my gosh, eight years She's been telling me I'll come in since we lived in Nashville. I mean, even when we lived in Nashville, your polarity's low. I don't care what I did. I could stand on my head, uh, burn incense, take 50 different pills. Believe me, I've tried every darn thing. And it would be just a little, it makes a little noise. And so, now it's like. Yeah, she was coming <laughs> today. But the thing is, is that her terrain is, was susceptible because of her lack of oxygen to her blood. So when she got, and it was around August, I started testing her and her numbers were just looking, you know, they were in the weakened phase. And I said, what's going on? And she started working in a home that had black mold. So that triggered her immune system. And what happened? the cancer got worse. Yeah. So that, you know, those were things to, to really look at in your home, your environment, where you live, you know, that that's a big plus there. But right now, you know, these reports that I showed you are, or we'll bring it up and I'll explain what's going on. Okay, great. Go for it. Okay. So I'll just go over these reports. So the first one, that first one on top, the historic chart, you can see the red. This mm -hmm. is and all her numbers were in the fifth phase and the fourth phase. So that's her autoimmune system. That that's showing she's not nutritionally sound. And a lot of areas were showing cancer markers where that was forming. And then she came back. That following month, I can't read. I, yeah, it's hard to read. But basically what that last report is, is where she is now, which is what I did today. Which one's the last one? The lower right? The lower right, yes. Um, yes, the lower right. And as you can see, you know, she just has two areas that are in the, you know, fourth and fifth, uh, the three and fourth phase. So as you can see, she is nutritionally sound here and she's getting better. So that right there tells me, you know, when I test someone like that, you know, their cancer is going away. So then go to the next one. 
So these are reports, these are stress reports. So this is similar and I did a cancer scan, which you can see there's, you know, it's a whole file of different frequencies for different types of cancer. Now, when I did her recording, this was like two weeks ago. Oh no, this was last week. Um, she was in the blue, so blue and black. She was pretty stressed. Today we did the scan. She's in green and pink. Her polarity was high. So that's telling me emotionally she's handling the stress now. So if these reports are compliant with the MSA report, that right there tells me, okay, her stress level's down, her inflammation's down. She has nowhere to go but to heal. Right and on. These, these are very, and today to see this report, because I've been scanning that cancer file for quite well for the last three weeks yeah which and one's she, today darlene i can't tell the one with the green and pink but they're the same thing you can see the emotional screening oh 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 so yeah. okay let me explain to the listeners so the column on the left of all three of these reports is today's scan there's just yes, three different correct. pages of the report from today yes wow that's huge so with her inflammation, I tested her today. I did everything today so you could see the current report. She's doing much better. Oh, and, wow. And the frequencies, are, you know, it's not the only thing that I'm saying is healing her, but it's compatible. It's in tandem. And it's adding to the equation to get her into a better place. Well, and Cynthia says that all the changes, the lifestyle changes that we make, help support the QT wave. So everything you're doing is compounding and bringing this beautiful effect to you. Exactly. I'm not saying, oh, the machine will take care of everything. It's everything I can possibly do to make a difference and take responsibility. I mean, my personal philosophy is you do everything you can and then you pray and let God do the rest. That's just me. Oh, I love that. That's but perfect. How you want it? It's meant to me to see these scores this morning. She even said it was shrinking. She could feel it shrinking. Yeah. I mean, when I got those reports back, it was, I felt like I was reading a postmortem and I was gone. It was bad. And she knows, she knows when she's testing well and when that polarity's strong. And this morning, it was like, the strongest oh, yeah. I've ever, ever, you know. First thing in the morning, it, it wasn't like I went out and, you know, exercised or I took vitamins and blah, blah, blah. No, it was right up in my jammies. <laughs> Just Round off the charts in mm -hmm. jammies. Around seven this morning. So, yeah. yeah. It, was, so, it was beautiful. Can you explain what polarity means for those listening that may not know? It's like the spark plug in your car. <laughs> if that pins, if it's not getting that spark, that energy, the best way to explain it is the analogy of like when you flush your toilet. Okay, we're in the northern hemisphere. So the toilet flushes to the right. So that's taking out debris. So in the, you know, other, you know, the, Northern hemisphere, I mean, the Southern Sorry. hemisphere, it goes to the left. So that's telling you it's taking the body's toxins out. So when you're in right spin, when the polarity is high, then your body is allowing yourself to remove the toxins. And so many people don't remove their toxins. Those toxins go back in the bloodstream and then that causes a vicious cycle basically. So when you address your stomach, your gut, your, your nutrition, you know, your cardio, and also it's based on your minerals, your electrolytes, oxygenating the blood, chlorophyll, anything you can do to cause that blood to be not in a coagulated state, you know, because that's what cancer cells do. They coagulate. There, there's no oxygen getting in. So if you can open that and thin the blood out and cause the blood to be in an oxygenative world, then cancer cells can't exist. 
And that's what I see, you know, back when we were testing her before with the black device. So, you know, it does help with that, but there's other things that have to contribute to the, you know, the frequencies working efficiently. Nice. I honor you and John so much for opening your home to this beautiful friend of yours. I just think that is so beautiful. You guys are such a terrific couple. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate them. I can't tell John's you. John's been good for her psychology wise. <laughs> <laughs> Things I can't talk to her about. <laughs> well, So all that helps. Yeah, everybody has a unique part to play. This is brilliant. I love it. And Darlene, I want to do a show with just you and your reports and go through, you know, your experience as well. Um, because I think that that's important as well, because we're looking at two different cases, one of someone who's unwell and one of someone who is, you know, healthy and strong. And so I think it's a good comparison. What do you think? Okay. Yeah. I'd be glad to do that. Have you tested yourself lately? You know, I just don't find that testing myself, I have to go get someone to test me because it's influenced. I mean, I can get an idea of what I'm getting, but I I know somebody here that I, I'll go and get my test done. Oh, the God spark influences your test results. Yeah. Wow. Isn't oh, yeah. I tell her not to look at the screen because she can influence it. <laughs> yes. That is yes. so cool. Cynthia is going to love hearing that. <laughs> awesome. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for coming to spend some time with me. I look forward to the next time, Rebecca. And I just, I love hearing this. I'm so happy for you, doll. She's going to have a clear bill of health. <laughs> yes. Yes. I know it. And I just appreciate, I mean, QHS, QHS so much and everybody and all the volunteers. I wish I could volunteer. I'm afraid I can't at this time, but I just really appreciate it. She's good with Spanish, by the way. Oh yeah. I'm completely bilingual. I can make <laughs> as many mistakes in Spanish as I do in English. <laughs> oh, cool. Then we're going to call on you when you're, when you're strong and ready to go. Thank Believe you. It. I would love to. I would love to. Thank you, Tracy. Okay, you guys have a beautiful day. We'll Thanks see you too. next time. Thank you for making this QHS project live. This Valorous admin team, thank you. The key community welcomes you. Thank you for making your home QHS healthy and happy. Thank you for helping us place QH centers all around the world. Together, hand in hand, we make miracles happen. QuantumHealingSystems.org Thank you.